lot of people logging on, Joe. Um, I was just giving a rundown of what we're going to go through on this webinar. Um, thanking everybody for showing up. Appreciate you guys being here. You got to be live on this webinar. Um, and what we're going to do on this webinar, guys, is uh, this is a webinar for the Williams M MX Compound Three Day School. That's going down February seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth. All right. And on this webinar, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the school guys, and we're going to talk about two advanced motocross techniques that will change everything. Um, two things. I'm not going to bring them up right now. We're going to get into them in a minute. Joe's going to talk about them. He's going to give you a lot of value on them. And we're also going to give you a chance to win two MX school uh, MX school scholarships for the for the upcoming school, the Williams MX Compound. Um, one of them is a full scholarship for the eight fundamentals of motocross met, or motorcycle physics, and the other one's a full scholarship for the advanced course going down at uh, Williams MX Compound. February 17th, 18th, and 19th. Also, as a bonus, we're going to give you a 45-minute coaching session with Joe Degano, which is going to – he's going to help you create a winning racing game plan for the 2018 racing season. How about it, Joe? <clears throat> Absolutely. Really excited to be here. Um, you know, I, I know it's early, but for those guys that are show up early, which I love guys that show up early and <laughs> just in time, right? Uh, Absolutely. So doing – three days of motocross coaching uh, the first day is the fundamentals which you know we're, we're not going to go that much into on this website on this webinar but the fundamentals are key in any sport any sport we're going to talk about that briefly then we're going to do a two-day advanced course and man those of you that have worked with scuba i know a lot of you on this ha have already uh, we're going to take it to the next level the advanced course is like nothing else this is really where coaching takes place to have breakthroughs in performance. I don't mean getting better. I don't mean improving. I mean a breakthrough in a whole new world. So that's what we're going to give you two access points to that, that we'll cover in depth in the advanced course. Awesome. Look. Okay, well, look, it's top of the hour. I'm just going to talk yeah. loud. That's good. We welcome can do that. Everybody. Not welcome, a problem. Whether it's seven o'clock Eastern time, whether it's mm. six o'clock central, whether it's five o'clock mountain where I'm at, or if you're in the Pacific, Southern California at four o'clock. Welcome to the webinar about motocross coaching, specifically our three days of professional coaching. Go ahead, Scoob. Tell us what we're doing. Absolutely, Joe. Then that, that's what we're doing, guys. Again, I thank you too for being here. For everybody who showed up in this webinar, and we are we are doing. Um, we're going to talk today, guys, about our Williams MX Cross Three Day Motocross School that me and Joe are doing down in uh, South Carolina. Um, February 17th, 18th, and 19th. And on this webinar, we're going to talk about two advanced motocross techniques that will change everything. Um, boy, I just want to say the two, but I'm not going to say that. We're going to touch on that in a, here in a minute, guys. But uh, also in this webinar, you're going to get a chance to win two MX school scholarships for the upcoming school at Williams MX Compound. Um, one of them is going to be a full scholarship for the eight fundamentals. Um, that's our be uh, beginner course. Once you go through that course, hold on, um, you can... Hold on. That's Go ahead. On, Scoob. That's not a beginner course. Nope. I work with AMA pros, oh. and that's where we start. Sorry, we sorry. Start the eight fundamentals, because not everybody knows them. I've not met an AMA pro yet that knows the eight fundamentals of motocross. So what yes. we mean is if you're going to begin to work with Scoob or I, professional coaches, no matter what level you're at, you've got to start with the eight fundamentals. You cannot jump into the advanced course because you're mm -hmm. a fast rider. No, you've got to do the eight fundamentals. That's what we build from. So that's a one day school we're doing on uh, Saturday, this next Saturday. Correct. And then if you do that, then you can do the next two days, which is our advanced course. Go ahead, Scoob. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That's all right, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for correcting me there. But uh, that's what we're giving away on this webinar, guys. You gotta be live on this webinar to get this. And, and uh, and that's going to be a full scholarship for the Mate Fundamentals course. And there's also going to be a full scholarship for the advanced course. Also, as a bonus, we're going to give away a 45-minute coaching session with Joe, who's on the webinar right now, obviously, um, and creating a winning game, racing game plan for 2008. Man, that's awesome, Joe. That's a, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, giving this stuff away. Um, we're going to – so you you signed up. We've got your just, name. Let me just tell you that. Uh, we're, we're not giving away, you know, uh, 
nice things. No, the advance course is $499. So Correct. some lucky one of you guys that are on this webinar tonight is going to get a $499 scholarship. Correct. And a $299 for the eight fundamentals. Somebody's going to get a $299 scholarship for that. And then uh, you're going to spend 45 minutes with me in looking at the mental side, setting up a 2018 racing program that's going to work. And that's a $100 value. Absolutely. We're not giving away stickers, guys. We're giving yeah. away real value here. <laughs> yeah, this ain't giving away stickers. There, there, there's value here, tremendous value here. Believe me, some of the best value I guarantee in the motocross training, motocross coaching business, as as you know, right now I guarantee you that. So, uh, Joe, let's give a quick introduction. Um, I'll start off and give my introduction for people that might be on this webinar that might not know me or you. Um, and, and, and then we'll go from there and we'll jump into these two advanced, uh, techniques. Um, so for guys on the webinar that don't know me, um, my name's Scoo. Funny name to get that name, but I've I had that since I was a little kid. My dad was a hippie. Um, so yeah, that's how that came about. But anyhow, listen, guys, I've been training for 15 years. Um, um, the Metacross techniques. I have a private training facility in, in the Loretto PA where I do this. Some people call me the nomad trainer, the traveling trainer, because as I'm doing this webinar with Joe right now, I am down in uh, uh, Dormtown um, doing a lot of training. I just left Florida doing training. So that, that's what I do a lot. You can't train in PA right now. It's the snow is flying and it's, and it's ugly. But I've been doing this for 15 years in my private training facility, and then I, uh, I venture my my myself out in the, the uh, winter here and come down south and help people and uh, teach people the fundamentals, the techniques to for control, confidence, and flow. My my uh, background is helping the amateurs, beginners, vet riders, um, and and that that's what I do, guys. And um, me and Joe have met each other. Uh, it's a couple years back on a podcast, and here we are rocking out. So a lot of schools that me and him do, and uh, join together in forces, and 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 that's what we do. So let me add a little bit to Scoob there because he's humble. So Scoob has been <laughs> doing this professionally for over fifteen years, uh, and he loves teaching people. This guy is a passionate coach. He'll teach anybody. He'll teach you at at a 7-Eleven, he'll teach you on the motocross track. The guy doesn't stop talking about motocross. He's a great coach, <laughs> and it's been great to work with him. The other thing about Scooby, he's a great rider. I mean, uh, for, for you guys that are old school, he rides like a pissed-off Mark Barnett, if you remember Mark <laughs> Barnett back in the days on Team Suzuki. And Mark Barnett was <clears throat> pissed off. That's how aggressive Scoob is on a bike. It's great to watch him. He's really into <laughs> it. Thanks, Joe. I've always always had that aggress. I tried to chill that out a little bit, but still aggressive in my old age. Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> so, um, T Scoob and I are teaming up on this school. Uh, I'm from Boise, Idaho. I've been doing uh, motocross coaching since 2001, so this is my 18th year. I've uh, been professionally trained. I used to race pro motocross, and was coached. Uh, to do that by many of the greats through the, through the day. And um, look, I, I've created this whole program, MX Coach and everything, just to share with you all, all the things I've learned uh, for trying to be a champion since I was 15 years old. Uh, there are so many people that have taught me along the way, pros, champions, coaches, that have given me such a body of work. And, and, and I put it all into my curriculum. It flat out works. Uh, my niche is working with top amateurs that want to go professional. And I've just got a, a track record of taking a, an amateur, any amateur, it doesn't have to be some uh, Loretta Lynn's uh, champion, and I've trained one of those, uh, and turn them to AMA Pro. Uh, the, the beauty of our sport, and I love it as much as you do, unfortunately, it's archaic in how we train. If you do any other sport, there's already a coach there. If you're going to be a swimmer, guess what? There's the swim coach. You're going to play football. There's the football coach. You're going to play tennis. Uh, lessons are part of doing tennis, right? Basketball, there's the coach. So martial arts, there's the, you know, the black belt, right? They're all inherently have coaching. Motocross, 
Everybody knows how to ride. You just unload your bike and twist the throttle. You get on virtual <laughs> trainer on racer X, read some articles and you're good. No, 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 no. So by bringing a structure of fundamentals and how to practice, how to prepare, uh, we can produce unbelievable results inside of, uh, a sport that there's not much instruction. And so one distinction I want to make and we'll jump in is there's a big difference between coaching and instructors. Many of you have had instructors telling you what to do, giving you information. Scoob and I are coaches, big difference. See, if you're anything like me, you've got a list of things that you know to do, things that you should do and things that you understand. Unfortunately, you don't do those things you know to do, neither do I. I don't do those things I should do, neither do I. And I don't do those things that I understand. It takes something else to have me actually act on and be uh, what, we're, what we're coaching. And that's where coaching enters. Okay, enough Absolutely. of that business. We're going to show you what that looks like. Go ahead, Scoop. What's next? Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's jump in, Joe. Let's jump into... That leads us right into these two advanced motocross techniques that would change everything. Okay, so let's talk about um, vision, okay? Everybody knows you gotta go faster, okay? Well, how do I go faster? The game, the question is always, how do I go faster? We, we like to come up with two different inquiries, two different questions to ask yourself. One, when you're doing the fundamentals courses, uh, how do I get control? What does it look like to get control through that section? Okay. And in the advanced course, what does it look like to have it occur in a way, this corner, these rocker whoops, what's it look like to have those rocker whoops occur to me as no problem? What's it look like to go into that corner and have it occur to me as not a problem. See, speed is, speed is subjective. What do I mean by subjective? It's relevant to the person. When, if you got to ride at Dun Ryan Dungey speed, you would be like, holy cow. But when Ryan Dungey rides at your speed, he's like on his cell phone texting. It's going, <laughs> it occurs so slow for him. Okay. So yeah. it's not that we want to get speed. We want to get our vision, okay, out far and wide like Dungey does. So it occurs to my brain as, oh, this isn't so fast. And what happens automatically is you twist the throttle. Yeah, because the fear comes, the fear steps in, right, Joe, as... Um in that scenario where your vision is not out wide, the fear steps in your brain is instantly going to shut that throttle off. It's going to go, your eyes are going to go wide. You're going to, you know, try to avoid that, whatever that situation may be on the track. Correct. That's right. Look, it's, it's all in neuroscience. Okay. That's right. It's a motocross school and damn, we're going to talk about neuroscience. Why? Because it affects how you behave. It affects, so, you know, you want to go faster and you're going to will you, I'm going to go faster. I'm going to go through that corner. It doesn't work that way. Your brain allows you to perform at a level or not. If going into that corner at the speed you're going into occurs to your brain as a threat, it will not allow you to go faster. Matter of fact, if you push it to go faster, like Scoob said, it's called a a flight or flight response, an amygdala mm -hmm. hijack, okay, where your your eyes get wide, your body tenses, your mm -hmm. breath is held. This is not an athletic posture, by the way. This is where the bike doesn't work. And you try to mm -hmm. force it through the corner. But when Dungy is going through the corner, his vision is out and wide. He's breathing normally, right, even if it's you know, heavy breathing because he's jamming and his body's flowing because his brain doesn't see a threat. The question is not how do I go faster? How do I go through a corner at the speed I want and then it doesn't occur for my brain as a threat? Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Got that. That, that instantly shuts the throttle off. When it's a threat, the throttle's, like you said, instantly going to be shut off, you know? Right. So, so this is where we're going to work in the advanced course. Yes, we're going to teach you the fundamentals in cornering. And there's lots of them, right? And I'm going to talk briefly about the amateur v corn. Remind me to come back to that. But this is where yeah. we're going to work for the real breakthroughs in corners. Once you've got the techniques down and you understand cornering and you understand breaking, we are going to painstakingly go through those fundamentals like a, like a good coach does in martial arts so that you can get it and experience it. And then we're going to open it up. Okay, you've got to deal with going faster in that corner. Your vision is narrowed and down and your body's tight and tense. That won't work. Mm -hmm. How are you going to deal with your brain so that it can relax and have its vision out wide and your body flowing athletically to be able to go through the corner? And I'm telling yep. you, that's where the breakthroughs are going to come, not just in the corners, in your whole ride. Yep. And, and as soon as you tense up, Joe, and, and one thing that I've always, uh, you know, you see this a lot and I've helped people with this is it, that translates it's a man of machine right so as soon as you tense up that, that that tension goes it translates right down through the bike you know what i mean um so and, and it's it's game over at that point i mean when you're not flowing i just you know way you made that movement right there i was like ooh, i like that i know that movement that feels good when you when you got it right and you're in that flow state but when you're not in that flow state and you're not doing that that's ran down through the bike. Everything's shut down. It's game over. You know, you're not going to do that corner if we're talking about corners or wherever it may be. Um, yeah, you're, you're not going rocker to rocker It don't matter. You're not going to be able to perform at what you know to do and what you've practiced. Okay. Correct. And so, you know, the whole idea is um, to be able to be relaxed and perform. Okay. Dungy is not tense out there. Once you get tense and you hold your breath, you know, you start arm pumping, you start getting tired, you're, you're in your head, you start overthinking what you should do. No, Dungy's not thinking about what to do. Dungy's not in fight or flight mode. No, he's flowing. He's doing what he's crafted his mastery to do without thinking. And mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's the difference between you know, being a master in something and having breakthroughs is yep. preparing your body and your drills that we teach you to do in a way that you can get out of thinking about it. You can do it naturally. Okay. Now the same thing applies. I'm, I'm going to stay on this vision thing. The same thing applies yeah. when you go to a big race. I don't know how many guys I've heard they're fast as heck. They go to Loretta Lynn's and they get smoked. Or they go to the qualifier and they get smoked and they've been riding that track and they even have lap times on that track and their lap times are terrible. Well, it's all into that world. Now it occurs to me as a threat. I got to win. I better not lose. My dad spent all this money and he's telling me every 10 minutes how much money he's now. Again, I'm not relaxed. I'm in my head. I'm forcing, trying to do something. This is where we go in the advanced course. We've got to get you out of your head. Mental mm -hmm. training for motocross, for athletics, is getting you out of your head, not in your head. <laughs> Thinking what to do, remembering what to do, having a strategy, all that is horse manure. That's not where a high-level high athletics uh, uh, lives. It lives in you're gone. You're not in your head. You're doing what you've trained to do, what you know to do, and what you love to do and you're doing it naturally and beautifully that's why we love to watch the pros because that's how they rock yep. so it, it, it's in that flow state you're in that flow state it's not in the head it's coming from what they call the flow correct that's right. <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah right, talk about v corners look here's what you're going to learn uh amateurs let me put it this way Every other motorsports racing, whether it's car racing, road bike racing, go-kart racing, boat racing, they all go through corners in a particular way. Even NASCAR racing, they go wide and cut in. In motocross, only the pros enter a corner wide and cut in. 
everybody else, it's like they got a magnet on their bike and they go all the way to the inside and then they go, they, they have to shut it down so hard, you know, picture 180 de de degree corner, you go all the way into the cone and because you're so tight, you've got to pretty much come to a stop. You realize you have no speed, so then you dump the clutch and come out like a maniac in what we mm -hmm. call a V corner. A V corner. Yeah. Where a pro, look at look at the, look at these these these. I need a whiteboard. A pro does an arc, and that's one of the big things we're going to teach you is how to arc a corner, and it's going to go against what everybody's Uncle Jimmy told them. You know, you get on the brake or on the gas. None of this coasting stuff. I told you, I'm going to kick your butt if I don't see you coasting. No, nope. you're going to coast. That's right. You're going to go into a corner. You're going to come from wide. And we're going to have you slow down on your entry speed. Oh, yeah. We're going to slow down on the entry. That's right. You're going to coast. And you're going to start feeding the power on in a nice arc. And, and you're going to be going through that corner. And you're going to be like, whoa, I got a lot of momentum. And then you're just going to, because you got so much momentum, you're just going to feed the gas on naturally, not aggressively like an amateur. And you're mm -hmm. going to flow a beautiful arc. And you're going to go, oh, boy, that was nice, but I bet it was slow because it was effortless. And I'm going to show you the stopwatch. And you're going to go, whoa, that didn't feel fast, but it is on the stopwatch. Yep. What feels fast is going in like a knucklehead way too fast, locking up the rear brake, ripping the bike around and exploding the clutch. I get it. That's what magazine photo shoots are all about. <laughs> You're right. Absolutely. Magazine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you just touch on such good points there. And I just seen this the other day when I was, I was training just uh, two days ago and that's where the amateur he'll come in just like you said, Joe, and um, hard on the brakes, what I call rear brake masher all locked up. But guess what? The lost traction there. The next thing is dump the clutch. I, oh my God, I got to get back on the throttle. Okay, I made the corner. Now I got to get back on the throttle. So guess what happens? They dump the clutch, lose traction again on the on the exit decks. What I call the exit decks of a corner, right? Um, and it's just ugly. And but they think it's fast because it feels fast to them in, in a sense. But if you lap times don't lie, I always say lap times don't lie. You take the lap times. They don't lie and they'll watch another that dude didn't do that that fast but it was smooth just like you're saying arcing that thing um coming in with a entry speed is so crucial that's what sets up the exit speed um and the lap times will always kill them guys and they always say there's no way that was faster than me well guess what they don't lie it's right here I, the, the stopwatch doesn't lie the stop yep. you just break it up in one corner and you can cut a second off of that sucker yeah so you know here here's what we're going to do right in this school we're going to work with you. Yeah, you know, Cody's on the on the line here. And, you know, he did the dorm school with us uh, last year. And look, Cody was making all the amateur mistakes, okay? But we worked with him so he could get it, so he could really get it, okay? Uh, we're having fun here. We're not – we're coaches. So it doesn't matter what kind of mistakes you make. Part of you, you don't even know that that's not what works. But we're going to show you what the pros do. We're going to show you what works. And you're going to discover it for yourself what works. But here's the catch. You're going to get it in a way that you're going to be doing it instead of knowing it. See, Scoob and I are not interested in going up to South Carolina so that you have a bunch of notes on what you should do. No, we're going up there to coach you so that you're left with, wow, I discovered what works and I'm doing what works. I discovered how to practice and develop myself to be a master in motorcycling, and I'm doing it because only the actions are going to give the results. Knowing what to do will make no difference. Uh, absolutely, Joe. Uh, they, we're not showing up there to uh, – we're showing up there to, to, for you to discover this for yourself and have them ingredients and, 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 and roll out of there with them ingredients to actually put it into action. You know, and to change um, the way you think about it. Like, yeah, yeah, I watched YouTube videos and I did this. I'm trying. No, um, it's not about trying. We're going to shift the way you think and you're going to learn these techniques to go out and actually put them to use. <clears throat> yeah. And look, it's going to be so much fun, right? We have so much fun in these schools. We're, we're going to go all day long, 8 a.m. 
till dark. I know it says 6 p.m., but we're never we never end on time. We just go to mm. dark, okay? And there's just so much to share, and it's going to be so fun. And in the advanced course, breakthroughs, guys. I mean breakthroughs. See, I want to give you, we only got seven minutes left. I want to give you another piece, okay? Another piece. Here's another advanced course uh, technique. It's not even a technique. Here's how you have breakthrough results in your racing. It's all about the game you're playing. What game are you playing? Most of you are playing the get better game. Well, I know what the get better game produces. It produces you, an amateur, you, a beginner, you, an intermediate, a better. Who wants to be a better amateur? Who wants to be a better beginner? I don't know about you, but I'm not interested in waking up being a better me. I want to be that which is the game of my life. So, look, here's number one, okay? And, and we give you preparation material before you come to the school. So, look, those of you that are on the fence, register now so we can get you the preparation materials. And part of the preparation is what do you want to accomplish out of this school? And I know what you're going to say. I want to get better at corners. I want to be more confident in jumping. That's not what the advanced course is about. Okay, the advanced course is instead of playing the better game, nothing wrong with it. Okay, don't make, don't make, don't make me make you wrong that you're playing the better game. But I'm saying you could play instead of I'm going to get better game, the game of your life. See, that's what we're offering you. Let's play the game of your life. See, when I went to my first motocross school uh, with Gary. He said, look, you could accomplish anything, regardless of how pitiful or promising you are today on a motorcycle. And I said, whoa, really? Yeah, if you take my coaching, you could be a champion. That's the game I play. I'm going to be a champion. Be a champion and 1987 AMA 125 national champion. Well, I didn't make it. Mickey Diamond was the pro. But let me tell you, it's the game you play that gives you everything. So, one more piece on this. Look, everybody's playing. Look, I coach guys at the pro level, okay? And when I went down in the Supercross series and started talking to other pros and whatnot, here's what I Most of them, except maybe three guys, and I didn't get to talk to all the top guys, maybe three of them, if I'm going to be generous, maybe five of them, five of them at a Supercross, we're playing racing to win. To either win that night or win the championship. Everybody else was playing the get better game, do the best I can game. And it's really odd, talking to the team managers, and I talk to a lot of them, they have this weird like uh, myth. I can't put pressure on the riders. Don't put pressure on them. Just tell them to go out and do the best they can. Because I got to keep them relaxed. If they get tense, they won't perform. Well, we just talked about that earlier, right? Yep. But here's what I'm telling you nobody wins a championship by luck or by uh, uh, trying. Only those that are committed to winning the championship, actually playing that game, win a championship. And not mm -hmm. everybody that plays that game gets to earn the number one plate. But it's all in the game you're playing. So what am I saying? We've got to interrupt your thinking and get you at risk and really say, okay, what do I want to do at my racing? Look, not everybody wants to be a pro, okay? But some of you want to win a local championship. I know our friend Aaron is on here, and he wants to yep. win the vet championship this year. Mm -hmm. um, okay, great. That's a game. That's a game worth playing. A game to have me go beyond where I normally stop. Mm -hmm. and I know Aaron and I've been talking to him and that's exactly what he's doing. Isn't he scoop? Absolutely. Absolutely. Aaron's playing that game. He's, uh, he's found, well, how I like you put it, how I love how you put it, Joe, the source of performance. And that's something that we will talk about and we'll, we'll dive into in advanced school. Um, but yeah, um, you know, and, and you don't have to know how you're going to get there. There's a big thing. People think they, they want the answer right now. You don't have to have the answer right now. You know, you just got to commit that you got to decide you got to declare you're going to do this. They'll come to you. The dots will connect. Once you get there, you'll look back and say, 
wow. But everyone thinks they, they want the answer right now. That answer don't have to be right now. It, 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 you just got to commit to what your goal is and, 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 and strive forward. Right. You know, so. That's right. and, and that's what we're going to show you. Look, we're going to show you, we're not going to tell you about this stuff. No, we're going to show you yeah. that when you play the game of your life or a game that inspires you, look, my buddy Cody is on the line here too. The guy I was talking about earlier, he's playing a game too. Look, I want to have fun. I want my buddies to get off ATVs and get on motorcycles with me. <laughs> you know what? That's the game he's playing and he's winning at that game. He's converted all those guys uh, from four wheelers to two wheelers. He created a motocross compound on his farm. I mean, he's Absolutely. winning the game he's playing, but look, it first started with, he's played a game that really is important to him that made a difference and he didn't play the better game. So part of what we're going to coach you in is to have some courage to declare, to say what you really want to do with motorcycling, whether it's have fun. Okay. Well, what does that look like? And let's have that be that you get access to that. Well, I want to be able to go through rocker groups. I want to be able to jump with confidence. Okay, great. Let's do that. And why do you want that? And keep going. Right? So look, most people in life, okay, don't let me accuse anybody. Just look for yourself. Most people in life are playing the better game. Oh, I'm going to try and do better at work. I'm going to try and do better in my relationships. I'm going to try and do better on my motorcycle. I'm going to try to uh, be in better shape. You know what I say to that? That's what I say to that. And I mean that in the most friendly way. <laughs> Why play the better game when you can play the game of your life? Hey, I'm going to be in the best shape of my life in 2018. Let's play that game. Now, look, that's a risky game because chances are if you continue like you've been doing, you're going to keep doing and being the same way you were in 2017 and you're going to fail. That's okay. Here's how winning looks, okay? Let me give this to you. And I could go on all night, Scoob. We're going to go late, buddy. I can't shut up, okay? Yeah, that's all right. You can... hang on. Just hang on. We're going to keep going. I love it. No, keep going, buddy. I love it. I love Here's it. Here's what winning looks like. And Scoob's heard me say this a hundred times. Mm -hmm. This is what winning looks like. Lose, 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 win. Lose, 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 win. Absolutely. And we're going to have you get that. That's what it looks like in every area of your life and definitely in motocross. See, most people say, I'm going to win this weekend. And when they lose three times, they're done. They're done, yeah. Not going to play that game because I've got to win. Look, when I went to school, the teachers taught me how to think, how to be critical thinking and strategic and avoid failing. That's not how life works. Oh, no. That's not how life works. We cannot strategize and figure out how to win a motocross race at any level until you go out there and say, I'm here to win and give everything you got to win. And that looks like this. Lose, 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 win. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to retrain you to get that playing the game of your life, something that's worth playing is out of your reach. Otherwise, you already have it. And it's okay to, as the Japanese say, fall down eight, get up nine. Absolutely. All right. I couldn't agree. Too much. Go on. No, 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 no. It's, dude, I love it, Joe. I love it. And it's so true. And what people got to realize is in that lose, 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 there's there's things to be learned in there. If you're willing to open yourself to, to take the lessons from them losses, from them failures, and from them losses and from them failures becomes the measuring stick to get to the win, right? Um, it shows you. It's just like um, I have a little thing. It's called uh, PARB. I call it PARB. P-A-R-B. We all have the potential. My grandma has the potential to ride motocross. She really does. At her, at her level, she has a, a level. She, she has the potential to do that. But she first has to take the action. If she takes no action, ain't nothing going to happen. From an action, you get a result. And from that result, you get a belief. And in that little part right there between a result and a belief, if you let the failure 
what Joe's saying right there, the loss, loss, loss is the result. It might, it's probably going to be a loss, loss, loss for a lot of times, but a lot of people quit between the R and the B. They let the result, the result create a story in their head that creates a negative belief and they never go back to the potential. You got to, you always have the potential. Always. You just got to go back to it. Skip right by that. Go right back to a new action. Guess what that action is? One of them actions is coming to this school. I promise you that. But it don't have to be with me and Joe. It really don't have to be. What, whatever that action is to get you there, that's what you got to do. And you're going to go back to maybe another result that's a failure. And when, guess what? You got to don't let that create a negative story, your belief. Go back to the action. Keep taking it. Guess what? Pretty soon you're going to get the positive belief and, and, and it's going to be good. So. <clears throat> Well, look, and, and that's what it's about, right? You're going to come face to face with where you stop. That's all. That's all we're dealing with. That's I'm it. Dealing with that, and so okay, I've got to get past where I normally stop. But let me share a story with you, okay? In 2009, I trained Ben Evans, and uh, he was a, a an amateur here. He won a uh, in the A class at Loretta Lindsay. He won a national championship that year before, and he decided to go pro. So I coached him his first year pro at the uh, West Coast Supercross Series. And so we're training, right? We have all off season to train uh, and we're down in Southern California. And we run into this guy. We run into a lot of people, okay, in Southern California. We run into this guy. He's a Kabbalah rabbi, okay? And uh, he, you know, he's asking us, you know, what are we doing? Hey, we're racing motocross and this is our rookie year. Rookie year, first time pro, right? And so he says, so uh, which, what are you racing for? And, and uh, well, you know, this year is our first year. We want to be in top 10. And he says to us, excuse me. He goes, excuse me, I don't know anything about motorcycle racing. But why don't you race to win? Why don't you win the championship? Why, why top 10? Why top 10? And we explained to him, right, that, you know, look, it's a really tough sport. And to win the championship would be unrealistic. Uh, being his first year, he's never even raced Supercross before. We're just now getting used to rocker whoops and all this stuff. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I got all that. Uh, but why couldn't you just play to win the championship this year, your rookie year? And we started thinking after we left this guy who we thought was crazy, we started thinking, and we, you know what? McGrath won his first year as a rookie, right? And he wasn't the only one. Now, there's not many pros that win their – the, their championship the first year, but you know what? There's enough of them to show that it can be done. Yeah. And so Ben and I, we looked at each other and we said, Ben, we've been playing to get in the top 10. Are we going to play the game to win the 2009 AMA West Coast Supercross Championship? And he looked at me and he was as sick to his stomach as I was. And he <laughs> said, Yes, Joe, that is the game we're going to play. And I said, holy crap, Ben. Oh, my God. Okay, let's do it. Let's win the championship. <laughs> now, let me tell you, saying it doesn't mean anything. But saying it is where it begins. And I can't say that any more powerfully, so I'm going to say it three more times. That's where it begins. you got to say it. You say it to yourself, well, that's that's a start. You say it to other people, that's even more powerful. You declare it, holy cow. You put your butt on the line. You've given your word to something great. You've given yourself, you've given yourself an opportunity to go past where you normally stop. You give yourself an opportunity to be a bigger person than who you've normally been because you gave your word to something that's beyond who you are. You gave yourself an opportunity to grow, okay? So the story's not over. So we, we reinvent the whole training program, right? I train him in athletic training, nutrition, the mental, and technique. We redo the whole program. We gotta step it up, Ben. If we're gonna win the championship, we've gotta redo the program. And we did. And you know, this guy, I'll never forget, we're up here in Idaho in the winter training, and it's snowing outside, and it's freezing, and we're doing laps at the high school track, running, and it's, it's pouring down snow on us. 
Ben don't care. He keeps going. He keeps going. And he finishes the, 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 you know, the, the, the training routine we had. And then after that, we're doing these plyometric moves. So we got this, you know, uh, course set up and he's doing these moves and man, he basically stops, bends over and pukes. Okay. And he's laying on his side right? after he threw up. And I'm like, oh, Ben, dude, we, we pushed too hard. We pushed it. Just relax, man. Catch your breath. You're going to be all right. Yeah, I almost passed out, man. Almost passed out. And I'm like, all right, man, let's call it for the day. He goes, no, Joe, we ain't calling it for the day. I got to finish this drill. We're playing for the championship. And I said, Ben, you got to take care of yourself, man. If you're not okay to do it, I don't want you getting injured. He's like, Joe, I can do it. Give me two minutes. And then he finished those drills. And I'm telling you, that shifted everything. Because he was now being and acting his word, not just talking it. And that shifted everything. And through our training programs and the things we did, he kept going the extra distance. And so did I. We kept going and looking what else to do. So here's the story. First, first race, Anaheim won. His whole family's there. All the sponsors are there. Everybody's there, right? They're expecting him to maybe qualify. Mm -hmm. Make the show, right? We made the show. Time qualifying. You damn right we made the show. Great drops. We get ninth place. Ninth place. We're going nuts. His family's going nuts. The team manager's going nuts, right? And we came back, and everyone's congratulating him and all this stuff. We came back, me, him, and his mechanic. And we said, okay, Ben, we got ninth. We're ninth in the series. What's it going to take to win? And we, 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 we huddled. Yeah, Ben's like, I got to do better on the whoops. The step on, step off, so I'm getting killed on. We got to work on those things to win next weekend. Now, his manager was so happy, congratulating them. Next week, we go to uh, Arizona, Phoenix. What does he get? Ninth place again. <laughs> <laughs> now we're the rookie of the year. We're the top rookie. Okay, 2009. The media is going nuts because now, see, they thought Anaheim was a fluke. But when he got ninth at Anaheim and ninth in Phoenix, holy cow, he became the real deal. Yeah. He got so much media attention. And mm -hmm. now everyone started relating to him as, oh, my goodness, this guy can do it. Now, we didn't go telling everybody we were playing the championship. It was his older brother, his mechanic, Ben and I. Okay? We don't want to go being like, uh, what, you know, I'm not going to name the riders that go on blabbing their mouth all over the place. Uh, <laughs> but we knew we had to step up. That year, okay, was the most breakthrough year we ever had. And, and, and it was just amazing. And I'm telling you, this is where it started. He yep. played the game of his life, not later. Not when he got faster, not when he got more experienced, not when he got better. He played it now. And playing the game of your life now and saying you're playing the game of your life now is what the advanced course is about. Absolutely. Absolutely, Joe. Absolutely. And you know what? And that's what we're going to do. In the same way that you, Coach Ben Evans, um, and the same way that me and you are going to just show up and, and, and give – you know, give our, our 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 word to train the students that show up at this advanced course. The you know the best we can give. That's what we do. Just like you gave it to Ben. Just like um, and it don't have to be. Some people aren't at the Ben M Evans level. I, I remember falling, Ben. I love Ben. Uh, I remember that happening. That that brought back memories hearing that story um, and watching him do that. But you know, just like you said earlier, where you're at what your goal is, where you're going to stay, what you're going to declare. It could be just to have fun. It could be to win the Vet 35-plus championship, to just start racing and get, you know, but, but whatever that is, and, and we're going to give our word to, to, to take you to that level, and you're, you're going to give your word to be right there, and we're going to, we're going to work through that. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So um... – I just don't want to. Here's, I, just don't want to <laughs> I know. Well, let's do this, guys, real quick. 
while while we're here, I'm gonna uh, if in, if you look in the chat box, uh, we, actually, me and Joe have been going off so hard, I haven't even looked at the chat box. That's pretty. Let's look at that chat box real quick. Um, oh, we got all kinds of stuff going on in the chat box. Wow. What questions do you guys have? What do you yeah, let's know talk, about? Yeah, while you're what, absolutely, Joe. While we're here, like, let's see if we look through there, Joe. See some questions. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm going to throw up the uh, – you're going to see a little thing pop up in the chat box for the school. You are you can hit that link, and that link will sign you up for the school. It will take you right to uh, Joe's page, his schedule page. You'll see some PayPal links there that you can you can join right yeah. now. And let um, me say something about that. So, look, guys, if you're on the fence, should I do this? You know, uh, my, my – um, my neighbor's having a barbecue next weekend, you know, whatever, right? If you're on the fence, if you're thinking this is for you, uh, do it. If you got questions, reach out to me. Send me an email, give me a call. Um, if you've got something like time and money and it's not the right time, well, consider that that's usually what stops you anyway. Find it, right? Find it. Go put a deposit on that. Uh, any deposit and then figure out how to get the rest of the money in the next, you know, week and a half. You can do it, right? We're talking 299 for the uh, eight fundamentals course, 499 for the advanced or 649 for the whole 3 days. Okay? You can go on PayPal, you can pay with credit card, PayPal will give you a loan. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to do it. My point is this, is that there is preparation materials to do that we need to send you to have you set up to really have a breakthrough in whatever school you're doing. So go on mxcoach.com. You'll see it right there in the homepage, register. You can find out more about each school, go in there and blah, blah, blah. But what I'm saying is don't wait. And whatever's stopping you from registering, if this calls to you, that's what's stopping you in your racing. As we say, to have a breakthrough in your racing, You've got to have a breakthrough to what gets you from even showing up to the school. You've got two professional coaches that are going to work with you. Plus, Joe Bonifazio is coming down from New York State. You're going to have three coaches Absolutely. with you. So the yep. ratio of coaches to student is going to be ridiculous. No matter where you are, mm -hmm. it's going to be fun as heck. Here, so here's the deal, guys. Listen, I just popped that up there. You're going to see that link in there. Um, it, hit that link. That that just says three days school, but that will take you to the page. It will show you if you're gonna and if you want to join up for the eight fundamentals, you haven't taken that. That'll all be on that page. Just give you a heads up. It's saying three days school, but it'll take you there. Um, so just hit that link and that'll get you that, that'll get you the page you need to sign up. Um, guys, listen, hey, here's what I love. We got everyone staying on this webinar. Um, you know, hey, it's a webinar. You lose people, you know, but. We must be doing something right, Joe, because we, we've not lost anybody yet. So if you guys got some questions, we're on here. Clifford, I mean, Clifford, here we are. Clifford says uh, he's scared that Joe will melt his brain. Yes, that's right, Clifford. I'm going to get you so out of your head <laughs> and so out here where, where motocross is happening, out on the track. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> So if you guys, uh, if, you, if you're all right with it, Joe, if they got any questions and they want to throw them in there. Throw them in there. Yeah. Any questions you guys got, throw them in the chat box right now. Um, you got us, me and Joe, right now. What a better time. Throw them in there. Uh, any questions about the school? Anything, that you, uh, any concerns you have about the school? We can answer that right now. Um, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you another story. Uh, when I used to train uh, Cole Siebler, He's another Idaho pro. Great guy. Worked with him when he was really young, too. Um, and he's still racing at the pro level. And Ben. And, and Cole's got a, a private pro level, professionally built motocross track uh, out in Emmett, Idaho. And so when Ben was turning pro, you know, uh, Cole graciously invited us out there so he could get some training on a motocross track. And we took a look at these whoops, right? Full on super cross whoops, square edge, and as long as far long as you can see, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, watching Cole go through them like nothing, and Ben going, uh, I've never been on super cross whoops like that before. 
And, and, and here's the thing, guys. It takes, to, it takes something to go through Supercross whoops. And if you ever got an opportunity to really walk down a, on a Supercross and look at the whoops in practice or after the race, it is startling. Startling. Like, how do they go through that? Look, if you're not on top, you're not making it through. Okay? And so, uh, uh, coals are just like that. And look, we broke it in. Just make it through three, Ben. And it wasn't pretty. And then he could get through three. Okay, let's try four. Okay? Uh, and, and, you know, just keep working the techniques, watching Cole, getting coaching, doing it again and again and again. Well, after a week or so, he could make it through the whole thing. After a month, he could go through that looking pretty good. After a couple of months, heck, he could kind of keep up with, with, with Cole. My point is this, is that we're going to show you how to gain competency and get rid of this whole myth business of talent. See, when you look at Cole, it looks like he's talented, but he's not. That's a guy that's put in hours and hours and hours to be able to go through rocker ropes at that speed and to be able to do them in a way that his vision is deep and wide and his body is relaxed. There's no issue for him to go into those whoops. There's no issue for him jumping in deep. Yep. His brain's like, I got that. Therefore, it allows him to perform at the level he has practiced, at the hours and hours and hours that he's put the time in. And look, that's the yep. missing thing. Everyone, like Scoob was saying earlier, everyone's looking for the secret answer, the secret algorithm. No, we're going to show you that there is no talent. There's you working the drills and gaining competency and gaining competency through hours and hours until you don't have to think about it. Anymore. Absolutely. Joe. And it brings me back to where I'm at right now at Durham town to our last school, me, you and, and uh, Joe B who's uh, the Fonzio who's actually going to be at this school. And uh, we've seen all them guys on that story you just told about through the rockers. We worked the rockers and watched all them guys have breakthroughs. And I just looked up to the right here. And one of the guys in that school is Cody. And, he, and what he says here is I hope these, classes turned into what's the most fun I ever had and met great people. So, you know, it's true. What Joe says, there was many breakthroughs there. Um, at the school we had right where I'm sitting right now, you know? So, and we're actually, um, Cody's, Cody's the guy that, 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 that built this track for our private training facility. Um, I got a guy down here right now. His name's Mark Woodley and he's the guy that uh, built the track for us. And we had this, uh, specifically built for this purpose, right? Uh, it's a private training facility. It's training. Um, it's a training just for training. Facility. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys see the link in there. Um, hit that link and get signed up. Jump, jump on board. Um, yeah, and, and look, let me talk to you know parents that may be on here that you want your son or daughter to do this school. It, it mm -hmm. is going to be professional. Okay. It is going to be high quality. I promise that you'll get more than your money's worth. But here's what else you'll get. You'll get how to coach your child, how to work with them and so that they can accomplish what they want on a motorcycle. Just by watching us, we're going to be also coaching parents and mechanics or whoever else is going to be there on how to empower your, your athlete, right? How to do drills to, to develop skills. So it really goes deep into not just a bunch of tips and all this stuff. No, this is how I, I develop myself to be a master on this motorcycle. And it's a lot of fun. Look, I, I love working with, you know, um, Luis will be there again with Devin yep. uh, from the uh, Durham Hand School. And Luis yep. is great, right? Uh, Devin Absolutely. was a top BMX racer. And now they turned motocross. You know, his dad doesn't know much about motorcycles, but man, he's got a whole tool belt to really coach him and set up the practices properly. And this kid's, you know, he's having breakthroughs. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, reading here, the school was the best thing I ever did for my riding. Best two MX coaches ever. <laughs> that was from Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, but guys. Um, reach out to me, get on mxcoach.com, send me an email, call me up. 
let's work out whatever you need to do to get in that, that course because we are going to have the most amazing three days ever at Cody's Williams MX Compound. Cowpens. Cowpens. Right off the freeway. Yeah. He's got RV hookups. He's got a big barn. Everyone can lock their bike in the barn. No problem. Correct. We're going to be working all night. We're, he's got a big, huge TV screen so we can watch the pros on the, in slow motion and see what they're doing. We're going to go mm -hmm. all night long. We're going to do motocross, motocross training, motocross everything. We're going to eat it, breathe it. It's 8 a.m. starting sharp till dark, three days. Let's do this. Absolutely. So looking forward to it. And hit that link, guys, and j join up. And just like Joe said, that's what we're going to do, man. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be – you're going to learn a lot, and we're going to have uh, a heck of a good time, and, and we're going to go from 8 sharp. And we got the, the lockups uh, where you can lock your bike up. We got the camper hookups, many camper hookups to stay there. Um, we got figure eight. Uh, he built a figure eight drill, water. We got a, you know, circle drill, all kinds of stuff there in a private facility, um, right off, right out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. It is called Calpens. I love the name. Sounds like it's out in the middle of nowhere, but it's not that far out, guys. So, yeah, get 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 yourself signed up and look forward to seeing you guys there. And uh, okay. actually, Cody just said the layout of the track is very safe and uh, set up for only for training. He'll post some pictures of the, of the training track, figure eight track, and whoops. So there we go. He'll get some pictures up. And look, it's private. It's private. It's just going to be the people in the school. We've got mm -hmm. the whole place to ourselves and lots of land. So we're going to do great stuff. Uh, the other thing is the uh, raffle, right? We're doing the, the – Correct. As soon as we hang up, Scoob and I are going to shuffle everybody that attended, and we're mm -hmm. going to pick three winners. One's going to win eight fundamentals course worth two ninety nine. Another one's going to win – the two-day advance course for $499, and a third person is going to win a 45-minute coaching session with me on how to set up your 2018 year $100 value. Absolutely. Everyone was on the webinar. You're gonna, we're going to put that into a raffle, and uh, three of you guys are getting that. So that's great. Awesome. Um, and uh, we look forward to you by mail and phone. Correct. Absolutely. Well, Joe, any uh, anything else to say? I was, That's all I can say, man. See you in South Carolina. See you. In, I look forward to it, and I look forward to seeing everybody there that's already signed up. And listen, if you're not signed up, hit that link. You see it in the in the uh, uh, comment box over there, and get yourself signed up. Make the commitment. It's well worth it. I promise. So awesome, Joe. Good webinar. Had fun tonight, man. Love listening to your stories and everything. And look forward to uh, hearing even more at the at the school with Cody's <clears throat> at Williams MX Compound. Sounds great, Scoob. Thanks for setting all this up. No, no problem, man. No problem. See you down there, buddy. See you guys all later. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye.